welcome back i'm dan so in this video we are going to launch in a web server right from within the aws management console in the previous video we already had a c2 uh, virtual machine running and we went into the terminal and we uh, installed an apache server uh, from the terminal and made it a web server but now we want to run the ec2 instance uh, and without even logging into it we want it to just go live as a web server for that like we want to uh, do a little bit automation for that we'll be writing a cool script in a field that's uh, and everything goes uh, smoothly uh, when we type in the public IP address we should see that the web page so let's get started <clears throat> again we will be just going to our EC2 instances and we will click on launch instance I don't have to explain everything in this one we already have done in the previous video so just go AMI Linux and T2 micro we're gonna continue to use that over here nothing important the only thing important will be in the security group you need to select that security group that you have allowed uh, port 80 HTTP so and this is the that cool little area that we will be using to actually let me make it bigger so you can see what's going on <clears throat> So we're going to use this space to type in all the commands that we use uh, in this video. So in this video, we had to actually log into EC2 and, uh, and to make that EC2 into a web server. Uh, in this current video, we are going to write everything in here. And hopefully, everything will go out smoothly and it will turn this EC2 instance into a web server even before we could log into log into it so to make that you have to type in this command that is even slash bash so this first line tells the ec2 uh, that hey you have to run this but you have to run this at the root level the second line if you remember from the previous video how to update we're gonna just update our um, instance you may or may not want to do it depending on uh, what you feel like uh, it's always a good idea to update uh, patch your system but uh, it wouldn't matter if you don't run this one y you will still be able to run your server this next line will be if you remember we will install the apache http d hyphen y I'm sorry my mic is right in front of uh, my keyboard so I have to like lean over to see the keys because there is a wire hanging as well that's uh, uh, in my fingers yum install httpd the sec if you remember from the previous one uh, we're doing exactly the same thing now we're gonna start the service service httpd and start and then <clears throat> we're gonna add one line chk cnfig httpd on basically this tell uh, the system that if it restarts it has to turn the service back on that is apache httpd next if you remember from the previous video we will go to this directory var slash www slash uh, html so if you remember html this line this one is basically where our uh, the root of our web server <clears throat> and finally we will uh, do what we did in nano in that uh, in this video in this one we did uh, let's type in the web page in nano uh, for this current video we are going to type use the echo uh, the only reason i'm using echo is because, because you know in nano you have to control x and then enter and all that good stuff so i'm going to just use echo to type in so just like we typed in the html code in nano i'm going to type it in here html close html actually let's type i used to do it a lot and that's the first one i did so i would close the brackets right away that's why I, I know that I've done it so I don't have to go and 
check it again hello um uh, the last one was Imran I'm gonna make this Aslan oh we made a mistake uh, subnet availability zone okay uh, we can still remedy it uh, basically because uh, this video I'm gonna also going to use in load balancer so I just want to make sure that I'm not using the same uh, availability zone I have two a C and B available ABC I'm gonna check where the other instance is running so I create this one in a different uh, availability zone so for that let's open it EC2 instance and uh, the running instance is in the availability zone it's in 2C US East 2C for mine I'm gonna create it in 2A yeah so that's how you will know actually how this really works uh, and I will explain it more in load balancer video uh, that is coming up next and at here once you write this HTML uh, oh you have to use this in uh, yeah double quotes so you have to make sure that you're passing your content in double quotes then you make this uh, bracket and you tell what file name exec index.html hopefully I've done everything right so I don't have to type it again and uh, next we're gonna do is uh, go to the security settings so we quickly go past by the storage we don't have to do anything for the tags let's add tag name aslan and uh, for the launch wizard I'm, I'm not going to use three because it will be a different security group I will have to go and you know <clears throat> Uh, configure it again I'm gonna just use use the existing one that will be launch wizard 2 the reason I'm using it because you can see that I have already allowed the HTTP uh, on it so next review and launch it's giving me a warning basically because of these SSH uh, uh, port 22 it's asking me to you know close it I, I, generally yes you should keep it closed and only open it when you need to access it but uh, right for right now for this video I'm not gonna bother with it so I'm gonna just go the other one it's uh, the blue one it's telling me that uh, I have already running one instance so this one uh, there will be a charge for me and that's fine I'm gonna keep this video this instance running for maybe a couple of hours once I'm done with load balancer I'm gonna terminate one of the uh, instance so let's go and launch for this uh, it's asking me to use an uh, existing care pair or I could create a new one I'm gonna use the an existing one I've already downloaded it each time you launch an instance uh, make sure if you're even if you're creating a new one you download that and this is the only time that you will have an option to download that dot pem file I it's it's wanting me to uh, acknowledge that I have actually this file and I can actually show you it's right here you can see so like I said this is very important this is the only time this dialog box that you will ever have the ability to download this .pem file and since I have already downloaded it it's asking me you make sure that you have it otherwise you can create a new one and download it if you don't download it you will never be able to download it again because Amazon does not store them on um, for you so you are responsible for that let's go and launch instance it says that your instances are now launching they are doing whatever let's click on view instance and then you can see it's pending this one I actually if you're wondering about this one this is a failed video attempt prior to this video and uh, it, the EC2 instance launched but uh, I was unable to uh, check the uh, web server the turned out that I missed uh, um, like uh, mistyped something or missed a code uh, line of code so I had to uh, terminate it you see this one just turned running I'm waiting for two two by two checks so for that we have to have that two by two checks here initializing and before we can go type in our public IP address and see if that page is up and running or not I'm gonna pause this video here and uh, maybe in five ten minutes I will come back we'll refresh us refresh this 
All right, so let's see. It's been maybe five minutes. Let's see if uh, we get uh, two by two checks here. And we have both of two, uh, two by two. Uh, whenever you have any instance problem, and make sure you, you don't, uh, not only make sure that it's running, but check the status as well. It has to be two greens. Uh, let's uh, click on this one. 235, so let's get the IP address paste it in here and oh yes perfect and I have the uh, my web page and if you uh, check the other one what's the okay if you check the other website this one and open this address and check no this one stopped working <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, I'm gonna get back to uh, I'm gonna get that one back to later on but this one the just uh, working let me go and fix that one and see what's going on with that if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one okay. basically I'm gonna in the next video I'm gonna see why this one is not working so it may be just a fixed video